Introducing the all new Dunky figure. They can be stacked on top of it. It's still pretty cool. Better come to Dunky Castle. Better come to Dunky Castle. Better come to Dunky Castle. Better buy my Dunky toy. Link in the description. After Mario 64, Mario went into hiding, and for the next six years, everyone would have their shot at knocking him off the top of the mountain. There were 3D platformers coming at you from every direction. There was a game called Mr. Bones. <laughs> Move over, Mario. Now, there are some good games and some really good games in here, and they all had their unique quirks. Gex had good jokes. Jack and Daxter had this huge, seamless world. Ratchet and Clank had all these different weapons. Sonic Adventure had Oscar-caliber voice acting. Watch out! You're gonna crash! Ah! Yet, in all those years of video games, nothing could touch the razor precision and expressiveness of Mario 64 until... The triple jump is back, the somersault, and the dive, but now you can bounce out of a dive to go further, or you can shoot some water out in front of you, dive into it, and slide super fast, or you can do a spin rooney blast. It's so buttery smooth and responsive that you can sink hours into this game just toying around with the movement. Then there's Flood the Talking Hose, which is a robot that Mario hooks himself up to. Nintendo is famous for their abstemious approach to introducing new mechanics. They're always very careful to never push a certain mechanic too far. But what's cool about Flood is that it just completely bypassed that part of development. This shit is fucking insane. There was absolutely no restraint in implementing this thing. Wanna hover around and break the whole game? Alright, go ahead. What's that? You wanna use the rocket jump? See? You want the turbo nozzle? Oh, the fuck? The developers are experimenting a lot here, and they're inviting you into that process. Playing this game is like running around the Bahamas with a rocket launcher, and Nintendo says, hey, you know that thing has a flamethrower too, this is how Mario ends up in jail. Not every experiment pans out. There are sections of this game that are barely functional, like the watermelon fucking part, pachinko machine, the lily pad level, most of these wonky parts are optional, but some aren't. For whatever reason, Sunshine abandoned the idea of letting you choose which stars to get. To progress in this this game, you need to do the first seven missions of each level in order, so when you hit a mission you don't like, you no longer have the option to skip it, which means eventually you have to play this broken ass fuckster level where these dumb fucking chucksters fuck you over 300 times in a row. Chuck, Chuck me! Yeah! I'm feeling I screwed it up again! Yes, I totally did! Chuck me! No, not from there! Chuck me, you no, chuckster! Yeah! yeah. All right. Most Mario games are going to take you all over the world, from deserts to the Arctic and even to the cement area, but Mario Sunshine is dedicated entirely to being a luxurious tropical vacation. Sparkling water, palm trees, and warm sand as far as the eye can see. There's even sand in space. Delfino Plaza is hands down the coolest hub world ever in a video game. There are so many little secrets and details, like those blue birds flying around, which are actually coins. Swinging pirate ship Rides, bouncy ropes that account for momentum, water slides, race tracks, perilous construction beams, coral reefs, mazes that spring out of the walls. It's amazing how much personality they were able to give each level while staying within the constraints of one unifying theme. Bianco Hills is like, and Rico Harbor is like, but then Peter Parker is like. But Inoki Bay is like boom, 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 boom. Super Mario Sunshine isn't as polished as other Mario games, but it has a lot of personality, and with the dreamlike pairing of deep, exciting movement and memorable levels, of course this game is a master. Oh cut the what the fuck are you doing? He said shit. Oh my god!